Hi, my name is Caitlin Thrash. I am 17 years old. I cheer for Sean Raining River by day, and I am a probationary firefighter for Rocky Point by night. <laughs> My neighbor is actually one of our chiefs. He was kind of the one that was like, you should join our junior program. So I ended up joining the junior program. I wasn't really interested in it at all, but I was like, I'll give it a chance anyway. And I ended up loving it. So I stayed in for about two and a half years, and then this past summer, I moved into the regular fire department and have been volunteering here for a couple months now. Set three. Five in, seven up, one. When do we come dip down on one? We've known for a couple of years, so a lot of times she will go right to the fire station from practice. It's just another thing on her list of things to do. So, you know, she doesn't realize, you know, what a motivation it was until we started saying, you know, here you are going from practice every day to the fire department every day and gymnastics every day. It's a lot, you know, for a, one kid to handle. So the fact that she can do that is huge. I think keeping busy is so much better than just like sitting around. I love to stay busy and like stay moving. I like to have plans. I think if I didn't do this much, I, I mean, I would be, I would be bored. <laughs> Kaden was special when she walked right through the door because she had a very positive attitude about everything. And for her, a female of her age, she accepted that role and excelled in it, which gained her the reputation she has today when she came into the fire department. Now as an active member of the fire department, she's one of the go-to people, not just the company, in the department as a whole. One, two, three, four, five, seven, one, three, five, seven, one, good. Honestly, she's just kind of living proof that you need to be tough to obviously be a firefighter and a cheerleader because cheerleading is such an involved sport. You really need to have the strength and have the endurance and all the things that she also needs for the firehouse. So she actually, we've had a couple conversations where she said it's helped her in her academy training, practicing and cheer every day because of what we do here. It helps her endurance there. It's unique when you have people that come through the door like that and make an impact, and it doesn't happen a lot. As long as we have her, we're going to embrace her and we're going to push her to be better, which is nice that we don't have to push too much because she just wants to be better all the time. We may lose her, but as long as we have her, we as well have four walls. We're going to uh, take care of our little sister and uh, get her whatever she needs to get done. I really saw myself as like, oh, like you can be an inspiration to others, but I mean, I guess it's true. I mean, I'm 17 years old and working with all of these other guys who are much older than me and then being one of the only females, I think it's cool and I hope that I can inspire other girls to join the fire service and just younger people in general. Girls definitely, they have a place here. <laughs>